This is the late May 2019 Green Garden Guy video inventory of the nursery stock. You might be missing out on something. Right here in the middle of spring, I've been geared up for it all, so we got stuff here ready for the spring planting season. If there's anybody out there that needs a plant or two, you might want to watch this. Sweet basil plants, real beauties. Inca peanuts, pretty sweet solo papaya, the Hawaiian standard. I've got sweet potato plants. We have the uh, Okinawan purple, the Molokai yellow, and I also have a real nice local variety here that I think might have origined in Japan. Um, this is an all purple. I don't have a proper name for it. The leaves are purple. The skins are purple, and the inside of the potato is as purple as a conquered grape. It's real tasty. I still have a few Dabai seedling left. That's the Pile Nut relative that also has an edible pulp. Nice red mountain apple plants. Trinidad perfume. The mild habanero. Real pretty local chirimoyas from seed. Cuttings for Natchez Blackberry, that nice thornless blackberry from the University of Arkansas that grows real well here around Hawaii. No garden should be without at least a half dozen of the local Hilo white pineapples. Real nice ones here. And talk about pa -pa 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 papayas. This is Exotica. Um, it's the non-GMO hermaphrodite papaya. Uh, that doesn't tend to cross with other papayas, so it kind of stays clean here from the GMO uh, contamination. It has really good fruit. It's becoming one of my favorites. St. John's Wort, the Herbal Prozac, Mamaki Tea, local healthful herb. We got Abiyus again. They're back in stock, and these are seed from uh, my favorite tree back here that has extremely large fruit. No gardens complete without Japanese purple eggplant. Allspice. Chakruna. This is the uh, Psychotria viridis. And I have another one here um, that's unusual. I, I have not properly named this other than, yes, it's definitely Psychotria. And it's, yes, it's a Chakruna. But it seems to be uh, more dwarf. Uh, it's rather short. And it definitely has white flowers, this one. Get your lemongrass here. Lemongrass, keep the mosquitoes away. Make hot sour soup. Yacon. Got lots of yacon. That's sunflower from South America that has those delicious crunchy tubers and won't spike your blood sugar. And there may be too many of these out there, I don't know, but people still keep planting the Suriname cherry. Uh, these all came from a uh, mixture of extremely sweet uh, red and black types. The Hawaiian cocktail pepper, uh, quite resistant to the local fruit fly. Um, it's a perennial. It's a cheese pepper or a pumpkin-like fruit uh, that's bright red and real, real tasty. This is not the Hawaiian chili pepper. This is a Hawaiian sweet pepper. Yeah, jump -a And also a little bit of meringue. Those uh, jackfruit relatives. Tamarillo, the tree tomato. Uh, this is a relatively new one from New Zealand with a yellow-orange skin, uh, only medium-sized and very sweet. If you're familiar with the old-time real acid ones, this ain't it. Um, this right here is a pepper in its own uh, species. This is uh, Capsicum baccatum, uh, called the bishop's cap or the balloon chili. It's from South America. It's a perennial. Uh, it's quite resistant to the fruit flies, and it'll live for quite a few years. Macadamia nuts and poha, the poha berry, um, and these definitely are local. Um, I collected the cuttings myself up on uh, Mauna Loa at about 5,000 feet. Purple lily koi. Uh, this is the Passiflora edulis. Um, it is a purple selection that I made in California that uh, most of rare fruit growers tend to tell me this is the sweetest tasting purple lily koi they ever had. Um, 
So if you need the nice sour yellow ones that are local here, we got those too. Hawaiian cocktail pepper again, but this one is the yellow form. Kobo, the perennial Japanese green onion. Star apple. Cacao, grow your own chocolate. Peppermint, unstoppable. Grow your own ground cover under your coffee plants. Smells good when you mow it. And the bartenders in Hilo can't get enough of the stuff from mojitos. Frankie's Red Dragon Fruit. Mexican oregano, uh, also known locally as stick oregano. Aloe vera. Now who doesn't get a sunburn? Malabar chestnuts. Nothing exotic here, but they have a beautiful trunk. If you like doing bonsai like ornamentals, this is a really nice plant. Grows well here. It also makes an edible nut. Gok fruit from South Asia. Rambutan seedlings. Beautiful dwarf katera coffee plants. Uh, the perfect type for Mountain View up here. Tristar. Day neutral, ever bearing strawberry. Makes about three crops a year around here. Roselle, the true fruiting hibiscus. Uh, hibiscus subdorifera. Um, this is the Thai purple form. Uh, it's a really large calyx and very nice dark color. Taro, sorry, I haven't got a name on this one. It's a red stem type that came from the Hilo Zoo. Banana cakey, Williams and apple. More thornless blackberry cuttings. This is uh, Triple Crown. It's a sister plant in the same breeding program with Natchez. Again, thornless, sweet. This is bigger than Natchez and sweeter. Hey, who doesn't love pigeon peas, right? I mean, this is a perfect tropical legume for stick mulching. It's a great nitrogen fixer. The plant lives for a number of years. I can get a lot of organic matter off one of these things. Uh, if you happen to make the junto rice or a rice con gondoles here, hey, how can you do it without a pigeon pea? Gotta have them. Love this plant. Giant lily koi, darn near as big as a football. Here's a very strange fruiting hibiscus. This is a green form from Senegal called Senegal Green. I've, I've not grown it yet. This is the first time. Get them while they last. I still have a chacha seedlings in small pots for a low price. Um, this is uh, the mangosteen relative that's New World. Uh, really, really good one. Uh, Garcinia uh, humilis. Oh, beautiful. More beautiful mamaki. Mamaki tea. Here's a really nice ornamental. Grows fast. Has interesting colors. Pink panels. Uh, this is a uh, Greptophyllum biomia. Bigger achacha trees in gallon cans. The true Asian mangosteen in one gallons. Lemon drop mangosteens in one gallon. Greg Adams' original dragon fruit he selected down there in Kapoho. This is the Kapoho sweet. Here's another taro that has black stems. Um, again, arguments over what its name is, so I'm not even going to try. But what I can tell you is this variety seems to grow fairly well in an average garden situation. I haven't had to grow it in a bog to get good crops off of it. Um, and it's a low oxalic acid form. Some of these taros, when I eat them raw, they will mess with my stomach. This one does not. Very sweet and smooth. I like it. Bigger pots of yacon. Probably got tubers inside already. Yellow dragon fruit cuttings. Yes, Linocerius megalanthus. Orange dragon fruit cuttings. Unnamed uh, Selenocerius. Maybe a hybrid. I'm not going to pick these up. Over here we got some big and beautiful, just jumbo juicy Kona coffee plants uh, that have bud and bloom on them, so they're ready to fruit in three gallon buckets. Give you a heck of a deal on those today. Turmeric. Gotta have it. Italian parsley. 
Hawaiian koa. Bigger old spice trees. One gallon giant lily koi from cuttings. One gallon aloe veras. Jicama vines. One gallon lily koi with fruit included. Awa. Otherwise known as kava, depending on where you're from. Um, again, like taro, hard on the varieties. Um, this one was given to me as cuttings with the name Maha Kea. Now, I've talked to some people who combine that into one word, and so I'm no expert on this stuff, all right? Beautiful, beautiful, awesome, one-gallon uh, dwarf Katura coffee plants. I have a huge amount of these plants. If you want to plant a bunch of coffee, call me. We have them. Give you a price. Vanilla orchid cuttings. It's flowering time. One-gallon cacao plants. Amethyst plants. One-gallon size triple crown blackberries. Purple stripe Himalayan bamboo, um, Himalaya calamus falconeri dampiera. The uh, uh, it's about four foot diam, uh, sorry, four inch diameter uh, timber bamboo with beautiful purple stripes. Edible shoots grows to about thirty feet high, and it's a clumper. It's a beauty, man. And then I got hibiscus. That's the plain old regular flowering hibiscus types. Um, I have the white native, uh, it's Viamia white. Uh, we have pure yellow. We have uh, yellow with an orange center. I have orange with a red center. I've got light pink. I've got deep pink. And I've got double pink in stock. And maybe there's a red left. Desert King dragon fruit. Plenty of seedling avocados. Uh, if you guys want to do some grafting your own out there, here's the rootstock. Real pretty looking green sapote. Artichoke plants, ube, the uh, purple Filipino yam, used for all manner of baking goods and ice cream. Marigolds, the prettiest way to keep nematodes out of your gardens. Onion plants, sweet onion plants for uh, summer harvest. Here's another unusual chili. This is another capsicum baccatum. Uh, rather immune to fruit flies. Uh, this is a perfectly sweet form, and I call it Fat Balloon because it's got a nice thick wall. Real <laughs> pretty achachas in two gallon buckets. The Bolivian Mangosteen. Full flats of perennial peanut. For the brave, cantaloupe plants. This is Eugenia patricii. It's an odd Eugenia from South America. Last but not least, a full flat of pigeon peas. I have one left. Well, there you have it, folks. That's not everything, because I do have a few onesie, twosie, threesie things that hanging around here. Uh, oddballs, uh, mixed plumarias, and stuff like that. But that's a good idea of what's out here today. And so if there's anybody out there that sees something that they need, come on down, because... I got lots of plants for y'all, and I'd like to see them all go home with you. Thanks for watching. Aloha.